There's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the uh, PlayStation 1. And let's see uh, how smart my uh, viewers are here. Am I or am I not using an emulator? Well, I'll let you in on some of it. I'm breaking my own rule and I'm using an emulator. Why the hell not? My PlayStation doesn't work and I'm not buying another one. I'm sick of those things breaking down. So from now on I'm keeping my PlayStation so that I have a right to play these games and just use an emulator. It looks better in an emulator anyway. This is one of the rare instances where emulation might actually be better than the original console. Of course, soon as we've got me about uh, the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys until that fateful day when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from platform nine and three quarters and left the muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You would be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! What was that? Oh, that <coughs> I can't remember what I was... Oh, yeah. So no, sorry about that. I could play the PC version, I guess. It's more in the spirit of me and my channel, but this version's better. I'm sorry, but it just is. It's I don't know. This kind of game feels better on a console sometimes, and this is one of those instances. I'm not about to pretend it's brilliant, but welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your the school lighter. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer the most painful death. All oh, right, I want to go up there now, then. This pain is Need good. Which blubber. Oddment, tweak, four wonderful words, don't you think? You wait till I learn some magic, old man. Now I'm going to come and curse you until nobody recognises you. I'm going to set fire to you. For some reason I used to think it was funny to just keep climbing up this uh, thing here. And like dying in the first room. But uh, now there's plenty of time for dying later on. Um, and if anyone knows how to get in that broom cupboard, let me know, because all the walkthroughs I've read, because I can 100% this game, but I cannot get in there. So, if anyone knows how to get in that broom closet thing, uh, let me know. I, I want to know what's in it. Not, why would they put a door there if I can't go through? They'll do that anywhere else in the game that I can remember. And obviously, we have to collect famous witch and wizard cards, but you don't, well, you don't have to, but... I'm going for a hundred percent here, or as close as I can get. So, and I don't know about the length on these. I don't even know if I'll finish this. Uh, this is basically just a test run. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In no, your that don't be gay. Portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. 
Yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to do that if I keep playing, because basically the game explains pretty much everything to you, but I could probably explain it a lot faster, such as that is irrelevant. Hey Harry, remember me, Ron Weasley? That slimy Slytherin Draco Malfoy ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's it looked like he was going to rape it. I'm going to call the rape man! Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Let's find Hedwig. Well, well, yeah, well. A lot of if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless I'm gonna kick his ass. Lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? Man, I've had better voice acting in... Uh... He's a nasty David Firth cartoon. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindor should stick together. Yeah, I don't, I don't like David Firth. <laughs> Man, his animation did so well and it's so shit. Come on, Harry. And you can't tell me I don't have room to talk. You give me a few months and when, Let's go. when I get my series out, and we'll, we'll see who can animate the best out of the two of us. Uh, you know Salad Fingers? Now, this is coincidence, right? But if you've heard of Salad Fingers, mm. I still have writings from keep 2004 the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. where I came up with an idea that was damn near identical and it is only a coincidence so I'm not not I'll having to go at him for it but you better go on and rescue Hedwig I'm willing to bet if I'd made that I could probably maybe not then but now I could do it at much better quality than he has and it would have got an overwhelmingly negative response I've made over 10 cartoon series in my time and People on the internet will probably only see about 10 seconds of them at the most for, on something I'm going to put together, but Hello, Harry none Potter. of them have had a positive response. Nick, and I am the Gryffindor house ghost. Look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. He sounds like a text-to-speech engine. The other good thing with this game is I can actually smoke while I'm playing it because it's not too quick, fast paced or anything. But no, basically, YouTube is probably the first place I haven't had overwhelmingly negative responses to things. You know, I mean, I mean obviously, like, my family and stuff aren't usually particularly negative to stuff that I do, but those don't really count because, I mean, half the time they'd probably be positive even if it was shit. You know, I could probably take a dump, wrap it in tin foil, and be like, "Hell yeah, I just made this." They'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's the best Ted ever." But um, hang on, that's Nintendo could do that and put the Mario logo on it as well. That that'd work really well. I mean, it's what Zelda games are. Ah, some snails have escaped from a care of magical creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. Well, I like snails. No, I'm going to walk into them. PC version makes a loud bang when you walk into the snail trail, but not when you walk into the snail. I never understood that. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is the first spell we learned, which was invented solely for the game. Um, I kind of liked the games at this point. The movies went out. I'm not a big fan of the movies. I think they should have been CGI. Should have looked more like the game. Um, you know, it's magic. Uh, you can't do this crap with live action. The CGI is terrible in the movies. I don't want to say the graphics are good in this game, but what I'm saying is that, you know... I just think movies should have been CGI. I'd get DreamWorks to it, I would have kicked so much ass. And you've probably realised the little counter at the top of the screen that comes up. Hold on a second. That. That's uh, house points. You, you can gain those by doing stuff, but it pretty much makes no difference. You know, I'm not talking to Nick now, because basically, you know, this is what I mean. I'm going to skip some of the dialogue, I think, for time's sake, because 
basically a lot of the stuff self-explanatory once you watch me do it, like the block I've moved. It becomes pretty obvious that if you see one of those blocks and press the cross button, you're going to cast a spell at it, and it'll move, unless it can move no more. And anybody who has any gaming sensibility can figure this stuff out. That rat dancing, let's teach it a lesson. Shove my wand up your ass. Come back here, coward. Stupid rat. I actually like rats. Uh, I promised myself a pet if I can quit smoking at some point. And I might get a rat. It's either a rat or a tarantula. I can't let me wind up. Well, that was ominous. No, no, let's not do that yet. Um, yeah, Harry Potter, though, I don't mind the books. You know, I've read all of those. Uh, if you haven't read them, they're, they're better than the movies, but they're a long read. Um, you know, but yeah, overall, they're, they're all right. It's uh, I pretty much figured out how the story would end by the time we got into the fifth book, though. So, and I'm not alone. In plenty of people. Oh yeah, I was going to move this. Don't talk to Nick, please. His yelling can become a little obnoxious in this game. It's uh, it's just one of those things you have to live with. Uh, you can probably see there are some RPG elements in this, so when I said I don't hate all RPGs, this is the kind of RPG I'm more tolerant to. One that's aimed at children and doesn't have complex levelling systems and thing. shit. The Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand. So I can't have the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books. Then use your cross button to cast. Whatever, Neville. Retard. You should go to a special school. You know I'm allowed to make fun of special needs people. I have special needs. It's... It's all just humour anyway. Who cares? I'm, I'm not about to go and bash people who genuinely have special needs. It's a yeah, video game. I found it. And as a result, I can bash on the characters as much as I want because they're not real. I could sit here and tell him he had AIDS if I wanted to. It's not going to make any difference to anybody. Oh, man. Oh, I'm just going to sequence break this. It's not difficult. You can do it in a few places, this kind of thing, if you already know what's coming. There's point in screwing around and taking all the air to get it done. Okay, fine. You're not going to lock on. Yeah, this game has a newbie lock on for your aim. It's like playing Halo on the Xbox. It's just totally nerfed. Like I say, it doesn't matter too much in this type of game. If it was an FPS, then I'd have a problem with it, but it's not. It's a, it's a good old Western RPG. Action platformer RPG. Uh, I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Well, I'm not sure it will, because he's never, probably just made you late for lessons. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trev. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Oh, 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 my das nicht rund, Harry Potter ist. <laughs> uh, I remember my school days. I used to be a right nuisance back then. <laughs> I remember my school was great. It wasn't even a school. Wow! Hedwig brought you a broomstick. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. I got like excluded from school when I was nine. So let's break the sequence again. I don't want to listen to him for twenty flipping minutes. Now, if I fail one of these, I can't do it again. So you want to do this right? I am Madam Hooch, your teacher. There She's is a, a lesbian. Bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks: steer your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. First, Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to press the triangle button instead. My whistle, then. 
Yeah, don't press the triangle button, it won't work. Well, well maybe I will. No, I won't. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Because the time is quite tight on these, actually. It's... These are harder than any of the other flying stages in the game. Which, the Quidditch games in this are really a bit of a letdown, I have to be honest. Excellent technique. Ten house points for getting them all. The next test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know what time we're at. Well, we'll stop when I'm comfortable stopping. Yeah, we've got a bean. Beans! I yell that every time something has beans in it, I have no idea where I got it from. I suspect it's Earthworm Jim, but I don't know. I just remember oh. a guy with a dumb voice yelling beans. It's just one of those things that kind of stuck in my mind. Yeah, it pulls a nasty trick on you here. You have to spin round go that way. Whoa, there must be one more. Well done, Potter. I shall award ten house points for that fine performance. Ready for a tougher challenge? As yeah, yeah, whatever. This is taking too whistle. long. <laughs> Man, I used to do some right jobby stuff though. Like when I was in primary school before I got expelled, um, I managed to flood out. There was a staircase. And it had like this old, like 1930s green glazed tiles all over it. And then the handrail was kind of made out of these things. And I don't know why, I just had this vision of water running down it. And at the top of the stairs there was a door to a little corridor, and there was the bathrooms. Well, the bog, as I prefer to refer to it. But, uh, there was the bog. And the stupid caretaker left the length of hose pipe around one day, so... Me and these other lads decided, hey, let's shove this into the handrails there and... Have a waterfall. Well done, oh, Potter. bollocks! Five more house points for Gryffindor. You've mastered the basics uh, of boomstick control. I think I can get away with that. See, if we get perfect on it, it's supposed to let us in the broom cupboard, but it doesn't, so whatever. I can always go back and do stuff again off screen if I have to. Hi, Harry. Have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know it all. And a teacher's pet. No, I am not. Hello, Harry. Charm's class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? Right, well, um. Yeah, basically, we, we shoved this hose pipe in the handrail. The headmaster's office at the bottom of the stairs, and he didn't much like me. Um, probably less so after that. Because, like, after about a minute of this stuff running down, you couldn't see at the bottom of the stairs. They turned round, they was kind of went halfway, half height of a floor down. Then there was, like, uh, a landing, and then he carried on. And, uh. That was up. Oh, oh I was trying no. to land on that land. I've forgotten my spell book. I'll catch you up, Harry. Uh, give me a minute, I'll carry on with this. So I basically go down it go the opposite way, so there's a wall all the way up the middle. You, you can see the bottom. After about a minute we just had all the water running into the carpet. Alright, I don't want to talk to that guy. It's a challenge to get to each class on time. Um, other than that, you can just laze around as much as you want until you hit that line, so whatever. But uh, it was great, we had all the water running. <laughs> After a few minutes more, we just had. Uh, what on earth is going on here? This <laughs> was brilliant. We were really head teachers, like, you could hear them, like, stepping about on the carpet on the bottom of the stairs. It's just like. <laughs> then you heard him start marching up. You must be Harry Potter. Yeah, we're, we're going in real trouble class. for that. You're just in time. Welcome. <laughs> you got right into all the furniture and the door frames and everything. The spell Wingardium Leviosa. Watch my one move and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Now you try. Remember, press the symbol button that my one points to. 
Get ready. That was good. Oh man, they, they are kind of tedious, but they're not too hard. The, the PC one, we have to trace it out with the mouse, that's really hard. Keep up now, um, it's going to get harder. But then I have damn near no hand to eye coordination anyway, so. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Whatever, Flitwick. Well done. You've mastered Wingardium Leviosa. Nobody Roger, likes Granger, you. And Weasley. Follow me to see the Wingardium Leviosa spell put into practice. How about no? Now, listen carefully. An object that can be charmed will be marked with a yellow sparkle. That's a as much as we need to know, thank you. Yeah, then we did set fire to the place. Try levitating the hourglass onto its pedestal to open the door. Yeah, so uh, I kind of got ex excluded Press in the, the end. Press the triangle button to it. And then I didn't really go back to school till I was 13. I went to like um, some special needs school for like three days and then got kicked out. <laughs> and then I just got sent to the referral unit. Yeah, man, that place was alright though. Um, you know, it's, it wasn't too bad. It, it was fun. Uh, didn't really get into too much trouble there. Uh, you know, they'd always give me something to do. For the most part, so I was, my mind was usually occupied. Dear Harry, please meet me in the castle grounds. You can get to the castle grounds through the front door of the castle. Pop round for a cup of tea and a chat. I have something important to tell you. Your friend, Hagrid. I, I always forget what it's called though. There's this metal, it reacts. Um, I'll uh, have this. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to have to cut it here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, these are save game books. This is how you save the game. You can see I've uh, done some messing about. But uh, it's a fresh memory card. I do have one with 100%. So, we'll leave it here for today. Uh, I'm High Treason. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.